explore everything I already explored. No, someone got a thing. things in as few stacks as possible. Whatever bears. Nobody cares. Wrong target. There we go. Two more chain mails. It's already full up on stuff. Can you carry two? Yes. Can you carry these herbs because you need them. Definitely can't carry that though. You can. Okay, found Castle Trog though. Da 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 da! Master Gates of Castle Troglo. It's pretty big. You feel the eyes of many guards upon you when you reach the huge portals. Unseen guard shouts. Are you the diplomats? Do you have the papers? It's probably referring to the papers you received from Charmic. Do you say you have them? Nope. So you do indeed have the papers. So instantly, armed Trilodites march out of the castle and demand to see them. Produce them. Excellent, one of the larger ones says. It's about time. The larger one makes a motion, and the warrior brings several blindfolds to her. You have to put these on before we let you in. Do you let them? Sure. Alright, let's blindfold you. Double check to make sure that you can't see. Then haul you somewhere. You're half led, half dragged. Fall to your knees several times. On the way, you hear one of the troglodytes ask you who you are and get clubbed unconscious. Ask who you are. My the blindfolds, along with some of your hair, ow, are torn off. Well, Suri doesn't have to worry about that. Probably not a Jeremy either. He's got pretty short fur from the looks of it. Thrown into a holding cell. There's a filthy bed, a chamber pot, and a very heavy iron gate. The gate is slammed shut and you hear several bolts being set. Rude. We're together. I can't believe I don't know how to make an energy potion. I barely make out the outline of a secret door in the west wall. Fortunately, you make no progress to figure out how to get it open. door being unlocked. Someone outside says, King Vothkaro will see you now. You hear footsteps receding down the hall outside. You don't hear anything else. I guess there was a way I could have escaped. Uh -huh. 
a ton. There's a dead body in here. The armor bears empire insignia. Whoever it was left this was left in this room to starve. Well, at least he took his pants off first. So near the end of the passage, a dozen massive heavily armed troglodytes march out around the corner and seize you. One of them barks, What are you doing out? King Barthgar expects, expressed no wish to see you. So march back to your cell and thrown in. The whole incident is very confusing until you notice that your cell is slightly different than it was before. Someone left the scroll in the dresser while you were gone. Get the scroll, the writing isn't even but clear. The paper is the highest quality developed. Very interesting. Troglo history. Story of the Troglodytes. Let me get a drink of water here. This is a big one. Do not know where they came from. One day we were not. The next, where we came from. The next day we were. We do not know. We know we were once a mighty people. Then we were not. Now again we are. The generations between are gone. We have ancestors, but no fathers or mothers. They who brought us back again are called by us the glowing ones. They brought us to get our vengeance on the humans who took us from the world. This was good to us. Great, we said. We would flow the blood that we... Uh, great, we said, would be the flow of blood that we would bring forth. But then, curse the glowing ones. They brought back the giants to fight with us as well. The giants, the great enemy. We remember little, but we remember that. Uh, but we remember that. The ones connected to our castle to that of the giants by tunnel. What a gift. We charged through the tunnel, then they charged back. The glowing ones cursed them, were angered. Uh, we must fight the humans, they said, so they closed the tunnel with uh, the Great Barrier. The giants were far from us. But our foes exist, and we will feed on them yet. One day the barrier will come down, and our war may be resumed. Till then the humans will be our meat. We will live by the Great Dream. I have a feeling that I need to... Uh... I think I know what I need to do. carved out of semi-precious stone. There are also small stone chips and the knife Truggle used to carve it. Stone spirals are an art form particular to these creatures. They are crude, violent beings, but they are capable of creating lovely, elegant things. Hi. Welcome, outsider. Grr, submit or die. Grr. You may approach. Hi. Stand before the king of the troglodytes. He wears dark, pitted steel armor, his face discarded and deeply lined, and his hair is black and stringy. I am King Vothkaro, high king of the troglodyte people. Have you read the scroll given to you? I can eliminate you once and for all! No. No, 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 no. I did read the scroll. Good, then you know of our people, the great foes, the giants who are cruelly kept from us. You know us, and now you must know more. You must know why I had you brought here. The treatment of me has been very strange. It's necessary. The proud troglodytes, we are divided. There are arguments and treachery. Thus, I must be careful. The guards here, they can be trusted. If any other warriors see you, they will spit. Try and die, you mean? Why did you have allow me to come before you? His voice is deep and commanding. The scroll I had left for you told you the things you needed to know about our people. We are a rootless people. We are a holy people. We have an ancient enemy. We are the troglodytes. We are proud. You don't know where your people are from. We were once destroyed, wiped off the face of the earth. Then we were brought back by the glowing ones, Manatai. We aren't sure who our destroyers were, but we have a guess. What, what is your guess? The ancient enemy destroyed us. Actually, it's almost undoubtedly the, the Empire. 
But you keep quiet about this. The Empire's campaign against non-human races has been vicious, thorough, and successful. Who are your ancient enemy? The Giants! Hawks and Spitz are holy eternal foe! So the Giants are holy? Their crimes against us were unspeakable, and their punish women will be too. Glowers. Fortunately, Kazai's do not agree. And one of them is unwise. That is why I have brought you here. Who are they? Our gods are secret and powerful, and our people are always half ruled by holy leaders and Kazai's. Kazai's are generally wise, unfortunately there are exceptions. Who do you think is unwise? The leader of the Kazai's is El Hayok. He believes something so heretical that anyone else who said it would be killed. He has said that we should ignore the ancient enemy, concentrate on fighting the humans. The horror! To end the Great War, I am revulsed by his cowardice. Alas, he is my equal in the eyes of the people. That's why I brought you here. I have a mission for you. Okay. Miles Riley, your luck is wise. The walls have ears. Let us just say that he should be made to answer for his heresy. He must pay. How will he pay for his heresy? Return to your cell. A new scroll has been placed there for you. Much will be made clear to you. Much benefit can come to you, uh, to, you uh, to you humans if you help. Benefit to me, peace to humans, only if he's dead. Okay. Sure. Yes, go to your cell. Read, learn. If you are brave, you humans will be forgiven crimes against us. And allowed to live a while longer. Go, go! You know, I can't really blame them for wanting to kill us all because, you know, the Empire wiped them out. Alright, slam the door in my face. No? Okay. Another drink? Outsiders, I have told you the offer. Refuse it, and humans die still. Slay Kazriel. El Hayok, and we may yet be able to fight the giants, the great enemy. You may not come back to speak with me. If Kaiza El Hayok suspects I consort with humans, I will be slain, and the war against the humans will be on our true and only focus. You must decide. If you refuse, leave through the secret passage to the south. Rest assured I will remember your cowardice. If you are a brave warrior, there is a secret door in your cell to the lower caves. Go. The shamans are in the southwest. Avoid them. They are mighty. They will overwhelm you. Instead, go north to the halls of concordance. And from there, west. Well, Hayok lives in a cell guarded by a strange gate we cannot fathom. This you must open. When he is dead, return to the stairway you came down and leave quietly to the south passage. You will be rewarded. Do not climb up any other stairways, or alarm will be raised, and we must slay you. Good luck to you! One day I will feed on you and yours, but not until the great enemy is gone. Six one second, climb down the ladder. Turn on the light. I don't know about the shamans overwhelming me. It can be kind of now, but but they're not too dangerous. Right? So there's like 20 of them in the room, and then I'm just hosed. Of concordance. I already found it. It's good. 
but I betcha I'll be going all over the place to get it over. There's two pairs of troglodytes, two shamans, two warriors arguing across the table. This must be where the holy and military sides of troglodyte society meet to discuss matters. They rapidly settle their differences, however, in order to fight you. Well, bring it on. Pairs of kneeling pads made before it facing each other. This must be a small private meeting room. I will take that. 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 doing that this instant. most energetic, most impressive magical barrier you've ever seen. It's over 50 feet wide and 30 feet high, totally sealing off the northern passage. It often makes this chamber extremely hot. Magical energy makes your hair stand on end. You have a hard time believing you can do anything to affect this wall. It forces you to wonder who created this barrier. And what is providing the incredible energy required to maintain its existence? Rubble the North is created by a mated pair of drakes. Troglodytes clearly have a taste for unusual pets or allies.